Hey Virgo, Summon Rising and Venus, this is your monthly reading for September for Virgos who are dealing with a Libra. So, this is what we got, girlies and boys and cuties and kings and everyone else. <laughs> we got uh, the Hermit. This is you guys. The Ten of Wands and the Magician. Virgos, uh, you guys are trying to reflect on the, on the past situation, okay? Like, whatever happened between you and Libra in the past... A, a recent past for that matter you guys are still in hermit mode trying to reflect on that situation okay you're released you're trying to do the best you can to release the situation because you're knowing that it didn't do much for you it didn't bring you happiness because if it brought you happiness then why would you guys be in hermit mode right nonetheless you guys are coming into the magician here you guys are trying to find the tools to manifest whatever it is that you guys are trying to manifest uh virgos you guys try maybe trying to find a way to come back with this person trying to get you guys like you and your Libra trying to get back together again. You're trying to find the tools that you can to uh, manifest it, okay? But this is letting me know with the death card here and the Queen of Pentacles, of Virgos, the situation could potentially be over or it's just the fact that there is no new beginning. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you guys. Like right now in the present situation, you guys are not going to have any new beginnings, okay? It's going to leave you very, very ungrounded, Virgos. It's going to hurt you. It's going to upset you. I mean, the whole fucking nine. You guys are going to be devastated, Virgos, and I don't want to be the ones to tell you this, but... It's the truth, okay? Coming in with the death card upright, there it's not that there's any chance there's no transformation. Because if there was transformation then the ace of wands would be upright, but it's not. It's in reverse. So there's not gonna be any new beginnings, Virgos. You're gonna be really, really sad, you're gonna be really hurt. You may not even want to go to work at times just because of the fact that you are devastated about it, okay? Nonetheless, coming to the uh the last card here, the the hanging man. Sorry, the hanging man to the five of cups to the seven of wands. Okay, Virgos, you, the situation is absolutely stagnated. It's absolutely over. There's not going to be any more new beginnings with you and your Libra. It's going to be very difficult to find a way to manifest the situation, you guys. Uh, you guys are going to maybe end up falling into the five of cups, like regret, anxiety, sadness, do not hurt yourselves, Virgo. I mean, do not. You are Libra, Sun, Rising, and Venus. For Virgos, please do not hurt yourselves, okay? I'm, I don't want you guys to be self-inflicting pain on yourselves, okay? So please don't because I got here, there's blood in the cup. So if you guys are the type to hurt yourselves, please don't do that, okay? Find another way to release that, uh, that pain that you guys were going through with this person, Okay, coming in with the hang hangman here. The situation is stagnated. There's no movement. There's no forward movement with this person at all. Virgos, okay. You're going to be very, very sad, very, very depressed. You're going to be very well, very well, be mourning the situation, okay. Maybe, not only that, maybe someone here passed away, Virgos. I don't want to bring it up, you know. But I mean, at the end of the day, I got the death to the five of cups. Maybe someone here passed away, and if someone did pass away, I am very, very sorry. I send my condolences out, my cutie pies, and I, and I, I don't know what to say. I'm just, I, I'm, I'm very sorry. Okay, if that is the case, but if that's not the case, it's just that the ver the situation that you guys was dealing with, it's over, Virgos. There's not going to be any more new beginnings. Not only that, I think you guys are going to want to be like having sex and stuff like that with some, with with your Libra, but it's just not. You guys are not connecting like that anymore, okay? Coming into the seven of wands here, you don't want to, you're going to end up not being defensive, like, because you don't have the strength to be def defensive anymore. Like, you're sad, you're mourning, you don't have the strength to be, like, fighting people off. You don't, Virgos, you're tired, you just want a new beginning, you want to be able to live your life happily. Uh, Virgo, Summon, Rising, Venus, or Crosswatcher, which is the Libra, you know, just be kind to yourself, Virgos, um... Um, so if you like even had the strength to be defensive, you'd be able to stay on your own two feet and, and fight people off, but you don't have that energy. It's not in you at the moment. At the bottom of the deck, I have the fool card here. Okay. This is you going to be taking a new leap of faith. Okay. Um, you're going to go on new adventures. Okay. You got your little flower. You got your dog. Maybe some of you guys have puppies. Uh, or are going to get a puppy because puppies are going to make you happy. Virgos. Okay. Um, just be careful that you don't turn into the Knight of Wands, Virgos. Like, 
be careful that you don't end up becoming the player because you're going to be really, really sad. You know what I mean by sad? Like so depressed that you're going to want to end up maybe sleeping with a lot of people. Okay. It, it can possibly happen. It usually can happen. Okay. Um, you're going to also end up becoming like the queen of swords as well. So you're only going to be wanting people for passion and then you're going to just completely ghost them. I'm not even sitting here playing with you. Okay. Literally that. And, um, yeah, and if that's not the case, it's just that the reason why you're having to reflect on the situation, Virgos, is because your Libra or Virgo Summon Rising in Venus was a player. You have to go into hermit mode, try and figure out why they're being a cheater or playing on you. You know, like there's a lot of messages in this spread alone for Virgos who are dealing with the Libra. Uh, it, it's a lot of messages that I'm picking up right now, and I don't know where to start. It's like... Do I talk about this one? Do I talk about that one? There's just a lot of messages, Virgo. So take your story as it resonates and just take and throw away that, that what doesn't resonate, okay? So let's just say because of the sadness and everything that you're going to be going through with the morning, you're going to end up going and running off, uh, taking new adventures and taking new leaps of faith and whatever. You may end up becoming the Knight of Wands energy, so you might end up and also becoming the Queen of Swords energy as well. Maybe this, maybe Libra is going to end up uh, going around doing uh, rebounds. You know, a rebound, okay? Maybe this Libra is going to end up becoming a, a, a rebound, doing rebound shit because of the Queen of Swords. That's uh, um, air sign energy there. So, oh my God. Just be mindful, okay, to use your intuition, um, Virgos, someone rising in Venus, or Libra. You're going to end up becoming very cold and detached, and then eventually you're going to slow down, okay? And um, you're going to take care of yourself. And not only that, just to let you know, the Nine of Cups. Eventually you're going to have everything that is that you want. Just take the time, be kind to yourself, Virgo, someone rising in Venus. And um, yes, and if there's anything that had happened, I send my condolences out. Okay, um, if th that's not the case, it's just that someone here is going to be finding a rebound because they're going to be really, really sad. They're not going to have the strength to defend themselves anymore. They can't, they're trying to find a way to manifest the situation back in, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen, all right? And not only that, I mean, eventually you're going to have to walk away, okay? It's, it is what it is, Virgos and, uh, and Libras, so... I'm sending you my love, okay? Peace and love and light, and I send you healing as well. Thanks, Virgos. Bye.